Good morning all. Hope you're doing well. It looks like a lovely day again for staying indoors, doesn't it? Um, now I'm just eating my breakfast. Um, not the full Peter Cole today, I'm afraid. Not a full works breakfast. Just um, I've got some cereal and I've got some tea, if I can get the camera towards it, and I've got some bread. Um, what I've got on it, um, spread and honey. Honey's my favorite. Um, but I'm partial to a bit of ginger marmalade every now and then. Mm, normal marmalade's all right as well. So um, what do you like on your bread? That's the most important question of the day, obviously. Now, I've been in Harefield Church for 16, 17 years now. And before that, I spent most of my time in Anglican churches, Church of England churches. And the Anglican churches, they do like a bit of liturgy in their services. So uh, in an average communion service, there was loads of it. Um, and the vicar would say something and we repeat it. And one of the things, one of the parts of the communion service was the Lord's Prayer. And the vicar would start off the Lord's Prayer and he'd start off on always a bit of a canter or maybe even a charge because it was something that had to be got through as quick as possible. And he'd start off racing through it and um, we'd be trying to catch up. Half of us would be saying the, the old traditional version, um, hallowed be thy name. Half of us would be saying hallowed be your name. So half of us would get confused between the two anyway, and sometimes it was kind of chaos, really. Um, and so the problem with liturgy is that you say it so often and so quickly that you don't really know what, it's, what you're saying. You just say it. And since I've joined Harefield, I haven't said the Lord's Prayer as often, possibly as I should. Um, but the other morning, as I was eating my breakfast, eating my bread, um, I said said the Lord's Prayer. And when I do pray it, I often change it into the first person. So I talk about I rather than we or us. And I started off, my Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give me today my daily bread. I didn't get any further than that. Because I realised that in the current circumstances in the world, this was possibly the closest I've come to actually needing to pray that line in my whole life. It's possibly the first time that I've come or possibly the closest I've come to needing to ask for today's bread. Because it's not asking for two months worth of food to be in your cupboards. It's not asking for uh, loads of luxury food. That line is asking just for the food that you need to get through that day. And life has changed in the last couple of weeks, hasn't it? And I'll be lying if I said it wasn't scary at of times um, because quite apart from the virus it's the issue of are we able to get our shopping because I've been to Tesco at 5 p.m. last week and it was like the locusts had been and I've already warned my boys that they might not be getting their normal favorite foods over the next few months I'm not concerned that we're going to actually starve but we might not be eating what we want. We might just be eating what we can get over the next few months. So it did kind of make me stop and think. And then I thought again, and I realised actually, I have got enough food in my house. You know, I'm nowhere near asking to need for the food to get through today. And that shows how blessed I am to live in this place and time you know I can usually have whatever dinner I want uh, the only reason I might not have it is if I can't be bothered to go to the supermarket to buy it normally I've eaten all kinds of luxury foods in my life and I don't think I've ever actually been truly hungry so at the moment let's thank God for all he has provided for us over the years now I think the situation in the supermarkets is a bit more under control now. They are doing a great job at keeping things going uh, and I'm less worried than I was last week. 
But I know that if, I, if it came to it, I can use the Lord's Prayer to ask God for today's food and I'm confident that he will provide for me. He has never let me down yet. And let's also bear in mind that there are people in Harlow who are going to struggle over the next few weeks and months. And we need to be praying for the food bank um, because they are there to hopefully be God in the, the people's situation. And we need to be praying for the people in our church who are running and helping in the food bank so that they can do the job that, that God wants them to do. So if you could do that whilst you're eating your breakfast, that would be great. Excuse me now because I need to go and finish my breakfast and as I'm working from home, I need to take the long commute up the stairs and start some work. So have a great day. Bye.